Aliens, it's Camille, and today I'm going to show you how I install a ponytail into my curly hair without using any heat at all. So the first thing you need is obviously a ponytail. This is called the Maya from INH, it's a synthetic 26 inch ponytail, and I did a video last week on my channel where I showed how I dyed it green. Since it is synthetic hair, you can't just use regular hair dye, so I showed how to dye synthetic hair to match my regular hair. But you can use any ponytail you want, and if you wanna use a real human hair one, then go ahead, you could dye that or not. If you wanna do a synthetic one, pick one that's your hair color. If you can't find one, then you can dye it like this but that video will be linked in the description box down below. So I try not to use heat in my hair as much as possible because my hair is bleached and dyed, so it's already kind of fragile. So this is a method that I figured out on my own because I was trying to hack the system and that I have to straighten my hair to wear a straight ponytail. So I figured that this could be kind of useful to any other curly girls or any wavy or whoever who doesn't want to straighten their hair. Um, to match the ponytail. The first thing I did was get the ponytail ready. I sprayed it down nice and wet and then I used my synthetic hairbrush to just comb it out so it's nice and detangled. I feel like it gets tangled so easily so I was really careful with that. And then the other most important thing is to prep your hair. And the way that you're gonna make this work is to prep your hair properly. So what I did is last time I washed my hair, I washed it, I conditioned it, and then I pulled it back into a ponytail. So instead of letting my hair down and just dry curly from the root, it was kind of pressed back and had to dry in more of a straight way. So you can see that this hair is a lot straighter than if I had my hair down and curly. You could see in my pictures, my Instagram, my videos, whatever. And you can also see here, if I take down my hair, this is gonna look so crazy, but this part was let to dry normally. So you can see that it's all curly, um, but I let it dry all together. So instead of having individual curls that come out and having the volume, I just had it as much together as possible to kind of consolidate the curls. So that's the first part is letting this part of your hair dry straight and then kind of consolidating the rest of your curls. And depending on how long your hair is, you're gonna do this a little bit differently. If you really have super short hair, then you can get away with just doing a little bun and then hooking in the ponytail, wrapping it, and you're good. Uh, my hair is kind of like medium length at this point, so I'm gonna have to do it a little bit differently. And if you have long hair, then you can either get a ponytail that is the same color and texture and then just leave your hair down in it. Uh, if you don't have the same texture, you could straighten it or blow dry it and then just like do that. Or you could try to do what I'm about to do, but it might add like a lot of volume up there. So it just depends on how long your hair is, but this is perfect for medium and then short hair is even easier. So the tools you're gonna need are a spray bottle of water. This one is super easy to use and you can find it online. I'll link everything in the description box down below. And then some Eco Styler gel or any gel that has somewhat of a medium hold and is kind of malleable and then you're gonna want a boar bristle brush. This one is from the brand Diane, and it's pretty soft on my hair, and it also helps really smooth it out, which is great for making it like a pure kind of straight, so definitely recommend a boar bristle brush. Oh, and you need a hair scrunchie. So normally I use satin scrunchies in my hair. They're super loose, they're super slippery, they don't add any friction in my hair. It's nice to not have any breakage or any tugging, but unfortunately for this ponytail, you can't just put it on loose hair, so I'm gonna use a strong hair scrunchie for this one. First I'm gonna take my hair down, and I'm gonna use the spray bottle and wet it. And you don't want it to be soaking because your hair is less strong when it's super wet, so you just want it to be wet enough that you can brush through it and add the gel. I'm also gonna spray the curly part a little bit. I'm also gonna get the middle because I want that part to stay flat when I pull my hair back and not have like weird extra volume. Then I'm gonna use a nice little glob of the Eco Styler gel. 
gonna spray my hand so it's a bit wet. Then I'm gonna mix it all up in my palms. Get that nice ASMR. Should have probably taken all my rings off before this, but we'll get into that later. Now I'm just spreading the gel along all of the outside parts that are going to be pulled back when I put in the ponytail. And you wanna make sure there aren't any lumps underneath so that it can have a nice smooth spread. I don't do this style that often because I don't like having so much product in my hair and because the ponytail like pulls on your head. So this is just a really cute look that I'll do sometimes and I really like it. So I think it's worth it. It's pretty slick right now. So next I'm going to use the Boar Bristle Brush and I'm going to make sure that I smooth out everything and just get it as smooth as possible. Once you're happy with how slicked down your hair is, the next part is super important. And you wanna make sure you get this right before moving on because you cannot go back and change this. You wanna find the perfect position for your ponytail. So I'm doing a high pony and I like that to be about this high on top of my head. Um, if you're doing a lower pony, then obviously you go lower or you just position it wherever you want it on your head. And then you also want to make sure that it's centered because you do not want to do this whole thing, put in the ponytail and then realize that it's like lopsided. So that is a super important thing to check before you put the scrunchie in. So I'm lining it up with my widow's peak because that's kind of like a perfect indicator of where the center of my head is. And then once you have it, you wanna do one last test. And this is something that I realized is really important because I've definitely made this mistake before. If you're gonna put in a really tight scrunchie or ponytail or whatever, you wanna move your head around first to see if it pulls on any of your hair because I've done it super tight before where if you move your head down, these hairs, it just pulls so hard that it hurts and you like can't move your head down. So you wanna tie it up in a way that is centered and not painful for when you're moving your head around. So once you have found that position, use a nice and strong hair scrunchie like this one and tie that up. Normally I use satin scrunchies for my hair whenever I'm doing something, but unfortunately, can't do that for a tight look like this, so I'm just using a regular hair scrunchie. So I'm happy with this position right here. It's centered, it's pretty tight, and my hair is nicely slicked back. So now it's time to divide my hair into three sections, and this just depends on how long your hair is and how thick your hair is, but I am doing three equal sections like this and I'm going to do a braid for each of these sections. If it makes it easier, you can use your water spray to wet down your hair to make it easier to braid, and then you can use gel or any other thing that you would braid your hair with normally, and it doesn't have to be like perfect sleek braids. If you do want that, then you can wet your hair all the way and do braids like that, just whatever kind of braid that you like. I'm just gonna do some really simple, easy braids that don't really hide my texture that much. I'm not really super concerned about this, but if I was doing a super sleek look, maybe I would do it while my hair is wet and do tighter braids. I'm also adding a little bit of avocado oil to make my hair a little bit easier to braid and a little bit smoother. Or if I was doing more of a rough tousled look, I would do it a less precisely, but this is what mine looks like in the end. But this is perfect for medium length hair, so that's why I'm doing it like this. And I feel like a lot of you guys have medium length and curly or, or wavy hair, so this is kind of the in-between catch-all that's pretty easy for like most hair types. The next thing you need is a bunch of bobby, oh, bobby, ah bobby pins oh my gosh my hands are so oily <laughs> but you need some bobby pins and the actual hair itself so different ponytails are made differently but the one that i have has a little clip in the back and then it has a velcro strip with this little hair section that you use to wrap it around the base of your ponytail so we're going to go in and start with this clip in the middle like right above the hair tie. So the hair tie is right here and we're gonna put the clip starting here and going in, All right? So here's the clip and I'm putting that right 
here. Just pushing that in, making sure it's nice and firm. And there we go. You can feel the weight and it's not pulling, it's not super heavy. So that is a good sign. So now I have these four things sticking out. Three of them are my braids and one is the little Velcro thing that you wrap around. So I'm pulling out two braids on this side and one on this side so they won't get wrapped up in the Velcro. So I'm pulling down the Velcro section here and then flipping my head and looping this around. Okay, so that's on nice and tight. And normally if I had really short hair and I just made a little bun, I would hook that in and then I would just wrap this part around like that and that would be it. But because my hair is a little bit longer than just a little bun and because my hair is a tiny bit different than the color of the ponytail. I tried to get it as close as possible, but it's not exact. But I figured that this would be a really cute way to kind of fade the colors into each other and also add a little detail with the wrapping section. So I'm wrapping this straight one all the way around at the bottom and then I'm gonna pin that in place. Then I'm separating out my three braids and I'm going to start wrapping those around also on the outside of the ponytail that I'm pinning each one in place. Now that this is all done, the last step is to do edges. So I'm going to be using my Got To Be Extra Glued Gel, and this is a lot stronger than the Eco Styler Gel. So this is what I like to use at the end to lay my edges. And then I also put a little bit on the rest of my hair to just make sure that it's as sleek as possible. And I'm using my little edges brush that I got on Amazon, it's so cute. It has the brush and then it has the tiny little comb. So this is perfect for doing both the edges and then like a little bit of smoothing on the top of my head. So I'm just putting a little bit on my fingertips and I'm just gonna put chunks of it all the way around my hairline and then I'm going to use my brush and smooth that out. Then I'm using a bit more and I'm just going to smooth that out a little bit on top of the rest of my hair. So I got some edges to bun. Now I'm using my little brush and I'm laying down very, very basic edges and smoothing it all the way back. I usually kind of avoid my widow's peak and then start adding little swoops farther I get. Last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my brush and just brush very gently through this because when I move around it gets a little bit tangled and I feel like this gets tangled super easily so I just want to have it nice and sleek at the end. Another thing you can do is if you have that section on the ponytail that sticks out for the wraparound, you can braid your actual hair into that so it will help kind of with more of a smoother gradient but I didn't do that, it's just another thing that you could do. And voila, you have a perfectly installed ponytail and it is serving today. I love this ponytail. I've worn it twice so far, but I just cannot get enough of it and I really like the pictures that I took in it and just overall I'm so happy with this and very happy with this look. So the next time I dye my hair a new color, I'm definitely going to be getting another ponytail and dyeing it myself and seeing how close I can get it to match the next hair dye color. So I'm very excited about that and I hope you guys found this video helpful. I used absolutely no heat in my hair and I was able to get it installed and looking pretty seamless. So if any of you guys are looking to do that with a straight ponytail and you don't want to damage your hair any further, hopefully this video will help you out with that. All the products that I use are linked in the description box down below as well as all of my social media, so don't forget to follow me on there. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you all a happy, healthy life, and I will see you in the next one.